Hey folks, this tutorial will teach you how to create a class. Um, I might, uh, this video might have two parts. The second part will be teaching you how to uh, separate uh, files in a class. So let's uh, start uh, creating this program. I'm going to declare my class right here, class. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to be using a, a class name rectangle because it's very easy and it comes with two variables and that's that's all we don't have to uh, build money money uh, member functions so class um, a rectangle So we're gonna here in, in in the public. We all we have to do basically uh, uh, write or place our prototype functions or uh, all the functions that we're gonna be using later on to access the variable length and width. Um, so let's um, we're gonna use um, void set. It's going to be taking one parameter void set wet. So we'll be taking one parameter as well. Uh, so now we're going to um, use. So basically, the first two functions are our mutators, and uh, this is our accessor. Uh, we can we can use retrieve link or get let's use get get link no parameter double get wet no parameter and then we're gonna get we're gonna build another function called get area. So this is our basic class declaration right here. Now we're going to go into the specifications. Specifications, just like any function that you build, you have to have a declaration or a prototype, and then you can you can go ahead and, and build your uh, function uh, after the main program or before the main program. I'm going to go ahead and do that before the main program. So I'm going <clears> to... <throat> uh, go ahead into the specification of the first function which is void in order to in order to uh, use this function we have to use the rectangle rectangle header because it's going to be uh, attached to the rectangle class so we have to use the rectangle right here and scope resolution or the uh, double uh, colon and the name of the function which is set linked double ln because it's going to be taking a, a value and setting up that value uh, let's let's go ahead so in this function what we're going to do is uh, access the private link or private variable linked equals ln. That's it. This is this is the only task this function will execute. So I'm going to copy this. I don't want to take your time by typing. Let's set wet wet and change this to the ID. Same. Well, there we go. So with the third function, this function, so basically this is our, our mutators. 
and now we're, I'm going to go ahead with my accessor. These functions will access the value that we just stored into these two variables or the private variables. So this function is double rectangle scope resolution get linked. It doesn't take any parameter at all. So um, the basically this function will only return that variable linked. That's it. And let me copy this. Okay, copy. Paste. Same thing with the width. Okay, width. And return width. Double. Double. Okay. Area. Oops. Tangle. Get area. No parameter as well. And this here, just pay attention that here in this in this function, basically, we're not we're going to be returning the length. Multiply with. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, let me compile this for a moment just to make sure there's no problem. Here we go, it compiles, no problem at all. And yeah, my computer is very slow for some reason. Anyways, there's no problem. Let's go and um, go to the main function. See how. Please enter linked the, the linked. Before that, we're going to have to create our object. Rectangle. Box. I'm going to name my object box. Now I'm going to have to declare double um, double this L for linked and W for width. There you go. So please enter the linked CN. Please enter the web. And so now uh, the user will enter the link and the web. Now what we're going to do, we're going to call those functions. Basically, how do we call them? We call those functions to set the values into those two variables, the length and the width, the private variables. So, so let's go use box dot. There you go, okay. Box dot uh, set. Set linked. We're going to pass the L. This is it. And box dot set wet. Pass W. There we go. We basically uh, set the values into these two uh, variables right here, private variables. So now they're holding the values. Uh, let's view these values. Uh, see out. Now, uh, re reaping our values. Uh, see out the link 
this. But like this. Okay, so now uh, how we access those that those values we use the same object box dot instead of set length we use the get length function get length the get length function doesn't have no parameters so you leave it like that let's end the line okay see how so, let as box dot get wet For the for the area, the area of your your boxes box dot get area. This should do it. Let's compile. Let's see. Enter length five. Enter width five. There we go. 